right guys, so slight problem today. I'm working on sticking some axles underneath of something. And uh, I noticed, you know, I got the axles, I got the springs, I got the U-bolts. What I don't got is the plate, which goes over this, which the U-bolts tie into to secure the axle in place. And basically the plate that transfers downward force from U-bolts into the uh, top or bottom of the spring, depending on how you have it set up. So I have two options, basically. I can spend probably two or three hours driving into the city. Uh, you know, by the time I drive there, it's not that far. Sit in traffic, it takes forever. You know, find these parts, buy them, and come home. And you know, also, as I found out, just buying these plates is quite difficult. Usually you have to buy like a whole nother set of springs and everything. I don't really want to do that. Or I can do what I've done and just find a random drop of quarter inch plate and uh, get to work on this. Now, we need a lot of holes, as you guys can see. Five per plate, four there, one in the center, which goes over this little deal here. And uh, so there's a few options of how I can do this. I could cut them out with a torch or perhaps with the plasma cutter. Hand cutting small holes like this, though, they're never very accurate. It's usually pretty messy and nasty, so I prefer not to do that. Uh, I could spend like three hours, two or three hours probably twist drilling all these or burn up like a bunch of cheap hole saws from Depot or whatever. Or I can use like 30 minutes and uh, mag drill these. It would probably work, you know, it might be an issue fitting the mag drill over here. We'd have to like set it here and drill these, but you know, whatever, doesn't matter, would work. Or we can do what we're gonna do, which is dig through our great iron worker tooling and get this thing set up. Now, uh, this is an 11 16 punch and a, uh, a slightly larger die. I got this thing set up. This is a three-phase iron worker. It's made in uh, West Germany. That's how old it is. It's not the smoothest switch on ever. And uh, I've already made a couple of dry runs here. So we can see everything fits in here really well. One last check to make sure we're not going to be overexerting ourselves. Short iron, 7 ace holes through 3 ace plate. Not bad for a tiny little, like, I don't know, 20 ton or whatever the heck this thing is, iron worker. Now, for those that are always asking me, this is a three phase machine. I run it off this uh, VFD or VRD, whatever the heck this is called. I've had it for years. It works great, even though I still don't know actually what its name is. But whatever the case, let's start punching some holes and stuff because I really like this little iron worker. Don't get to use it for stuff like this that often, but this is the kind of tool that, say it with me folks, you don't need it every day, but when you need it, you really need it. I don't think I've ever punched through quarter inch plate with this. I've done close. I think I've done 3 16 with some quarter inch holes or whatever, but this is gonna be the most I've ever asked for this. Hopefully it doesn't just uh, explode one of these dies and it kills me, that'd be bad. Probably make a cool video though. Oh yeah! This is the only thing I'm missing, the piece of steel that goes around this and catches this plate as it goes up. So we have to do this instead. Still faster than hand drilling. A Little bit of WD on there, so hopefully it'll drag less. We should be in business. They're going easier now. So you can see that center pin is significantly smaller than these U-bolts, so we got to change this out. We're gonna go an eighth inch smaller to a 9 16 punch, and then uh, we just have to find a, uh, a die, I believe that half is called. Uh, yeah, I'll sand these down a little bit and we will get them on here installed and then painted up. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching this random video of the day on today's random project. And I think they're going to work out really well. You know, U-Bolt goes into all of them. Pretty happy with these. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more.